Come on! What's going on here? There, there we go. Jesus Christ. Bada bing, bada boom. We starting this shit. Strem, strem, begem. Did I spell legendary right? I think I did. Dear God, I hope I did, or else I look like an idiot. Okay, that's enough. That's enough messing around for now. Alright, is this. I'm gonna check to see if this sounds good. Seems good so far. Poo in my ass. I'm gonna pass you. Okay. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> I move faster. Oh, that. Oh no. That. Wait. Hold up. Stop! Wait a minute. Put a bar, put some liquor in it. Sign a check, sign a check. Julio, get the check! Oh, look at that! Mmm! Mmm! Music to my ears. 
How was that? Does that sound good? Is it, the sound better be good or else I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you to that the, the launcher it, it doesn't pick up the launcher but it picks up the game without me fiddling with the game capture oh this is gonna give me a migraine later on but fucking Christ okay we're here let's do this we're back with Mass Effect Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Alrighty. Classified information requested. Mm-hmm. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Ooh, this is this is even better. Okay, so no, we're not we're not doing Oh my god, look at those models! This looks so good. Alright, let's enter a new ID. We'll do custom mail Please this log time. In to access oh, that's an easy one. Yek, Shepard. Oh no, they don't have data on my spine! Please reconstruct profile. Alright, shit. Confirm pre-service history. Mm. Ooh, okay. Which one did we go with last time? We went with, we went with colonists last time. So, uh, we can either do Spacer or Earthborn. Ooh. Mmm. I have special eyes. Let's, you know what? Let's go with Earthborn. Psychological profile. Uh, we did Ruthless last time, so... The servers crashed? No! My Bitcoin! My cryptocurrency! What do you mean the GPU can't handle it? Get more! More GPU! Okay, let's see here. Um, hmm. You know, let's go with War Hero. Confirm military specialization. Woo! Okay, so. Since nobody actually uh, told me what class I, uh, I should do, I kind of want to play Infiltrator. I just like Infiltrator, you know? Yeah, you know what? We're doing Confirm Infiltrator. Facial identification. Oh god, he does have special eyes. Alright, we're changing appearance. Nope. 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 Ah, it's actually not too bad. Let's see, we need a... We need a good... We need a good Yek Shepherd. Oh god. I actually like that. It's a good one. Uh... Perfect. Let's go with complexion. Yeah. Hey, another settlement needs your help. Get the hell out of here, Preston Garvey. Oh, oh god. Yeah, chon chonky! I like him big. I like him chonky. Chonky! Make sure we're just put that. Do do. Oh, dude, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give him a fucking Chad jaw. Let's do this. 
Uh, big ears, of course. Of course, big ears, big ears. Give him a fat ass too? Hell yeah! Oh, god damn it, nope. Actually, can we go with... Uh... Yeah, just keep it like that. Uh, so eyes, I have very special eyes. Oh, oh my God. God damn, he's staring into the abyss with those eyes. Yeah, you know what, that's, that's fine. Oh god. God no, please. Uh, eye depth. Keep that normal. Yeah. No, we this this would be if we went with a renegade route, but no, we're doing we're doing Paragon. There you go, perfect. Uh, for the head. Just a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Boop, boop. There we go, perfect. No reporter punching, big, big rip. Yeah, we did it last time, guys. Come on, we're trying to be good now. We're the good guys. Bit, little bit of a Chad Chad job, but not too much. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Wait, does this make it narrow, more narrow, or what? Oh yeah, dude. This is the jaw that. <laughs> this is the this is a jaw that you get if you suck peanut butter with a straw. Like holy fuck. No, we're not we're not going too ridiculous with this. Uh, so mouth. I uh. Hmm. Oh god, no, please god no. <laughs> Make the head butt a laffy taffy machine face. I'm not making Taro Katano. If that's if that's what you're asking. Oh, we didn't do the nose. Look right up and look right here, sir. There we go. Perfect. Make headbutt a laffy tapping machine. Is the new Netflix adaptation? Yeah, pretty much. Did they add a new hair? They did. 
Oh, dude, we can get braids. <laughs> God, he looks like a jackass. No, we're not doing that. Uh, hmm. Oh, hello. Nice. I wish they added more hair. That would have been nice. Ooh, hello. That's, that's new. I like the mohawk look. The mohawk look. Really I actually like the, uh, you know, where, where is that? Where is that thing? There it is. That, that looks really cool. Uh, so, hair color. Now we'll just keep it dark. Keep it dark, baby. Uh, where it's... Oh, beard. There it is. Da damn, okay. You know what? Let's go. Let's go with clean shaven. Nice and clean. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we need scar. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? That that looks good. Uh, actually, do we have any? be wearing a helmet for the most of the time so actually you know what we need to make eyes uh, doo -doo -doo. blue because he is going to be Pedagon that's way too goddamn blue there you go perfect yeah yeah that works profile reconstruction complete All right, so we have Yek Shepard, Earthborn, War Hero, and Infiltrator. So this what? This good? So what we're doing? All right, let's. Uh, any any objections? Right, hold on. Bah. Pause the thing. Can people still see? Uh, still, the, uh, still, still. Can people still see the stream? Still good. I hope we're still good. Hold on. Give me a sec. We're still good. All right. Let's do this. Once you confirm your character is complete, there will be unable. Uh, you'll be unable to change any settings. No, let's go. Confirmed. Ooh, level scaling, legend, legendary mode, or classic mode. In classic mode, the original one to sixty level range will be used instead of the new one to thirty level range. XP and talent point progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Hmm. Legend or legendary mode. So legendary mode will be used instead of the new le uh, one to thirty range. Combat difficulty. Uh, Insan. Oh, okay. Insanity is already a thing. 
So wait. Legendary is just simply... Uh... Okay. Yeah, we'll just do defensive. Uh, auto level up. Off. Okay, yeah, we'll just have it off. Hmm. Number of levels is doubled. I'm wondering if I should do if I should do legendary mode, legendary mode or classic mode. Mm. I will try legendary mode. See if it's any good. Hopefully the saving system has been improved. Because Jesus Christ, are skill points condensed into half the level ups? I don't know. Well, what about Shepard, Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. And the year is 2148. Explorers on Mars discover the remains of ancient space-faring civilization. In decades that follows these mysterious artifacts reveal startling new technologies, enabling to travel the furthest stars. The basis for the incredible technology was the fourth that controlled the very fabric of space-time. They called the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy called it... Oh shit, this is way slower than I thought. Mass Effect! Roll credits! Usually I have to re speed read that like a motherfucker. Woo! The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission. Hi, Dr. Sequence. Alzi. Commander. Yeah, excuse me. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and Oh, hey, Presley. Presley. What's happening, baby? The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Uh, big turn around, and here we go! Yeah! Look at those graphics! Ooh, that looks good! Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Thank you, Nihilus. Bye, Nihilus. I hate that guy. Yeah, me too. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Yeah, I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. Whoops. You get that, Commander? Is he upset? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Okay. Open journal. Uh, prologue on the Normandy. 
You are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, ex Executive Officer of the SSB Normandy. Okay. I can't imagine why. Uh, refix. PNP monitor. Uh, I believe this is good. Am I having lag on? No, I'm not having lag on the menu. It's just like that. Okay, cool. Uh, sound. Okay, dialogue volume. Sound effects volume. Let's put that down to a nice crisp 80. And then put this to a 90. There you go. Uh, yep, there you go. And... Uh, da, 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 da. Gameplay. Uh, subtitles on, please. Should have should have turned those on to begin with. Okay. Uh, squad. I do not have it. Oh, I do have three points. Okay. So, first things first. We're going to. Ah. Okay. Yeah. No. They definitely. Ooh. They did not change the thing. Okay. So we're gonna put three points into charm. Uh, first things first. It's a secret tool that'll help us later. Space opera, but we don't start with the furries abducting a random civilian. <laughs> Hey, what's happening, Lexi Group Programmer? If React doesn't bring a Dastro, we will. Oh, don't worry. I'm uh, I'm gonna. Don't worry. We're we're gonna have some we're gonna have some schmexy alien time. So we have that. Duh. Okay, cool. Yeah. Relax, Presley. You're a piece of poop. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you were arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to <laughs> Instead, we have someone with going faster on their own. You have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Hmm. Tell me more about this Turian Spectre. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Plus, he's a specter. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Specters operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't mm. like it. Uh, tell me about the captain. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Tell me about the stealth systems. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover, what? you say? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. All right, well, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. Jenkins! My good boy! What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding. Oh, God, what the fuck happened to Jenkins' real face? Usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Relax, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. 
This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful, Jenkins. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Yeah, don't do don't something worry, stupid. Sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? What can you tell me about Nihilus? Ah! Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Hmm. What can you tell me about the Spectres? What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They yeah, usually work yeah, alone yeah. or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. So there is no human Spectres? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. <laughs> yeah, I'd win, dude. Right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. The Spectres sound dangerous. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At hmm. that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Hmm. What can you tell me about Nihilus? What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well oh, wait, no. they I already asked well. that. Well, as for Nihilus, I hope we get yeah. a chance to see him in action. Okay, I that's enough. Took down an entire enemy for two the captain's long. waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Actually, no, wait, hold on. Yes, Commander, is there something you need? Oh, wait, nope. I already captain's asked. Waiting for me. Goodbye, captain's waiting for me. Hello. Sup? How's it going? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful, actually. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it! I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Mm. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Well, why did we tell the Council exactly? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. 
I should have known. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my... how? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? And why? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Captain Ander Anderson, do you see this bullshit? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay. What can you tell me about the Protheans? What do you know about the Protheans? What do you know about the Protheans? That's what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Hmm. All right, Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. And what can you tell me about the beacon? Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. And who exactly are the wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Terminus systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Ah, so that's why we brought the stealth ship. All right, I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. No. Seems like a lot of shit is going on. I don't think they changed anything in this footage, so I think it might be an FMV. Or not FMV, but it's, you know, a pre-rendered. out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 what the fuck is that thing status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Yes, sir. 
Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. That space Squidward? Uh, maybe. We don't know what it is! Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Do you, do you, do you think? Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Oh, he said it. He said the meme. Everybody, clip it and ship it, baby. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. He can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. He said it. He said it. Get the confetti. <laughs> Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Yeah. Left mouse button fire, so same fire will cause to overheat. Use right mouse mouse button to aim. Aiming increases your accuracy. Hustles everywhere. Woo! Nice. Hmm, that's actually not too bad. Ooh, I have really good control of the sniper. Rifle. So yeah, this gun doesn't have a thermal clip. Uh, well, <laughs> thermal clips don't exist yet. Left click, uh, to change weapon, hold left shift. Uh, left click weapons icon, okay, got it. Okay, so I have overload and sabotage. Hey all y'all, it's a sabotage. How do I sprint? Oh, there I go. Oh damn, did sprint get nerfed? Fuck, you used to bolt so goddamn fast. Now, I do like that sprint meter, though. It's a good sprint meter. Boom, 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 boom. Now we're fat e. Shit. That's what happened. Oh, left shift weapons for the squad. Yeah, right. in, get that. This gun doesn't have a thermal clip. No guns have thermal clips. Yep, they don't. Not yet. Oh. Everybody hold up. Jenkins, go check the perimeter. Go, go check it. Something's not right here. Oh no, Jenkins is dead. Who would have guessed? Oh. Ooh, I love the health bars for that. Oh! Baby! Alright, let's go. Close it. Good night, sweet prince. You're out of chance. He deserves he deserves a goddamn burial! We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. I uh, also. <laughs> ah, Jenkins, your uselessness outshines even XCOM rookies on this tutorial mission. Yep. Okay, let's see over here. Anything? Nope. Oh yeah. Also, for uh, for squad stuff. Oh yeah, I need to I need to level up. Fucking. Kaden Lenko. Um, hmm. Let's see, probably do, probably get first aid and barrier. Yeah, that'll work. Sentinel, yeah, that'll be, that'll, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay. Metagel is needed to heal uh, injured squad member members. Omnigel can be used to bypass description and electronic challenge. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Always good to know. Press V to use Metagel to heal your squad. Nice. Okay, tutorial stuff. 
No, hello. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Boom. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay. Gain levels. Squad will improve. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay. Check your corners, Aleko. Let's go. Let's go. Anything over there? Nope. Okay. I think we're good. Use left shift to order, uh, order your squad, or use Z to uh, attack your target. Q or E to have a specific mate, squad mate. Move to a point and attack target enemies. C regroup. All right, take that position. Dead. I got your back, buddy. Oh, oh! Got him. Easy. Oh yeah. Uh, let's put overload or uh, overload and sabotage in our quick slots. Did. Eden Prime. Haven't been here in ages. Yep. Damn, they saved the cutscenes to a T. Fuck. He's still like, what the fuck? Oh my god. That's even worse in HD. Why can't I take... Okay. Oh! Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. Alright, hold on. A little bit. Frame boozled. Dead! Hmm. Hi! Who are you? You're the lady from the video! the Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Fighting these things? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. Geth? The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. All right, join us, Williams. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Okay, what can you tell me about the Geth? What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Vale. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Okay. Beacon? Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. And the scientist? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Okay. Before the attack. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. And the scientists? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. Oh, wait. I already they asked that. Jesus fucking Christ. Nihilus. was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. If you what? saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily... He's on our side. 
Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Great. Okay, anyway, let's go. Move out. Great job, guys. Okay, we... Yeah, hmm. Increase my, uh, weapon damage by two. Uh, regenerates health. We'll just... Shoot that, and combat armor. Perfect, you'll be our assault rifler. To do. Press escape to go to squad. Uh, yeah. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Uh huh. Phasic rounds and radioactive rounds. Okay, take all. And a hey, scorpion. Oh wait, where's the equipment? There we go. I remember the equipment. Uh, let's see. I can I can definitely wear this. Nice. I remember the scorpion. Good times. Good times. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, for the sniper rifle. Let's give it some radioactive rounds. Nice. Oh, radioactive got a buff. That's good. Good. Radioactive rounds are kind of pointless in the first uh, first Mass Effect game. Oh wait. No, oh, press G. Hello. Got him. Okay, do do. Right over there. Sabotage! There we go. Perfect! Huh? What? Actually, where's the... Yeah, there's the, there's the crate. Ah, yes! The edge and the skimitar. Nice. Alright, what's going on over here? This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Alright. Let's roll out. Oh, we got- Oh! We get more points per- Ah, oh, I see. Dampening, uh, hmm. Dampening could be good. Uh, so we'll put three points in that. Three points into that, perfect, I see, okay, okay. Oh yeah, that's right, uh, Kaden, um, hmm. Let's go with, uh... No, he'll be our first aid guy. And then, uh, level up and throw. And Ashley! Uh, just put you in assault rifles and soldier. Go! Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. All right. Be careful, Nihilus. Don't get shot or something like that. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Yeah. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh, 
got. They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Holy shit! Holy crap, holy! Oh, there, there, here comes more of them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to put in... Boop. Overload. Guys. Guys having fun? Okay, good. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. Ooh, assassin. Nice. Uh, let's just go to equipment real quick. The assassin armor... Oh, hmm. Oh, that's the assassin one. Uh, no, yeah, give it to... Nice. Uh, give her the Avenger. The poopy Avenger. I'll give you the striker, and then for me, I shall have the edge. Okay. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has its required telling, you'll be able to unlock it using the encryption. Advance to the central core. Okay. Yep, I remember this. It's like Frogger. Okay, open! Humans, thank the Maker. Yes. Close the door before they come back. Don't worry, you're safe now. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Yeah, close thank enough. Thank you, I think we'll be okay. Space Frogger! It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Okay, what can you tell me about the attack? What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. Is he going to be we okay? the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I don't think he's going to be okay. I it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Okay, Nihilus. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What can you tell me about the beacon? Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Mm. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? What secrets are kept? We have the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. No, I'm with the science team. Is there anything wrong with this guy? What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Yeah, no, no, they're not. To see the future, to see the destruction rushing towards us, to understand there is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Okay. All right, all right. Goodbye. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. All right. Plus two, Paragon. Paragon, 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 Paragon. Ooh, an upgrade. An upgrade kit. Shall take? Uh, take all. Hooray. Ow! 
Heat. Saren. There he is. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. Totally not sus. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Damn. Just ended him. Oh, this what is, is new. Off in the distance. Oh. That is a very big ship. Oh, god damn it. Dead. Dead. I was too busy looking at the ship. No fair. Oh, guys. Guys, Kaden, please switch to your pistol. And Ashley, you keep. Yeah, actually, yeah, you keep doing that. What? What are you guys shooting at? Um. Guys? Are you. Who? Okay, that. What are. Are you guys okay? Those crates are real menacing. Hmm. Methinks there might be an enemy over there. I can't tell. Yeah, oh, there he is. You know what? Whoop. Got him. Okay. First things first, let's go over here, because this could be very important. Nadi da, Omni Gel. Give me manual override. Woo! That was Everybody close. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Uh huh. Is it safe? Are they gone? They're safe. It's safe. It's safe. Nobody's here. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the mm. sheds. Attack details. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. All right, Beacon. Do you know anything about the Prothean Beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. All right, ship. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only... Was coming from inside your own head. Was it a, some kind of jamming signal? It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. All right. Well, I'll be going now. I have to go. I should go. We're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You should probably come clean, bro. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Smuggling is a crime! You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. 
Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Is that all? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, he, I'm not a snitch. He may know something. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. All right, thank you. Good luck. I have to go. Ooh, yeah! Taking that. Oh yes, this is the best gun in the or the best starting gun in the game. Uh, Kitten, you can just have my edge. Ashley, Ash, Ashley Williams. Now we didn't get a new assault rifle yet, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, no, just kidding. Do you have any mods? No. Okay. Those crates looking sussy. <laughs> do 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 do. Don't see anything over here? I forget if there's secret stuff over here. Nope. Smells like smoke and death. Smells like smoke and death. Well said, Caden. Well said. Uh, yeah, they nerfed sprinting. God damn. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be able to cheese that like I usually do. Commander, it's Nihilus. He did. Yo, holy shit! He did! Uh, ammo upgrade, basic rounds, armor piercing rounds. Nice. Uh, we're gonna take that. Shepard skipping leg day. Never skipped leg day, my dudes. Uh, we're gonna go with... Oh, wait. Uh, more phasic rounds. Uh, we're gonna go with armor piercing rounds. And first sniper rifle. We should... Uh, yeah. I'll just do phasic rounds, mostly because sniper rifles already hit like a fucking truck. Imposter snet emergency meeting. Ding, 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 ding. Something's moving over behind those crates. Get out of there! Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. You need to be more careful. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Well, tell me what happened. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Well, then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. She I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Gets didn't find you. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? Ooh, sussy. I, sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Mm. What can you tell me about the attack? Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. 
One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Uh, beacon? Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. All right, what about the ship? Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It, it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this, this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. All right, well, let's get out of it. Oh, wait, uh, one, one more thing. Uh, Cole mentioned you. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No. I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Smuggle any weapons? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? All right, let it go, Williams. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. You should probably make amends, Powell. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Let's go! The cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Oh, high explosive. Uh, hold on. Up, up, up. High explosive. Nice, nice. Hello. Whoa! Take over over here. Oh! Headshot, baby! Get over here. Actually, no. Over here, please. Oh, Why can't I? Ow. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Oh shit, that guy's coming. Yeah, he's dead now. Oh wait, I have a sniper rifle. What am I doing? Yeah. I see him. Just not gonna come out. Come on, poke your heads out. Anyone? Cover fire. Um. Okay, well this is awkward. Oh shit, whoa.
Dead. Uh, uh, that's the wrong gun. Hold on, give me a sec here. Ah, uh, there we go. Much better. Alright, got rid of that. Nope. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, well. Thought he was gonna poke his head out, but apparently not. Dead. Double dead. Triple dead. Oh my god, you gotta Ridiculous. Get his ass! Nice. Let's go. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. All right. Could we have chosen a more conspicuous way of getting here? Just, just T-posing. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Yep. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Yep. Don't worry, I'm on it. Shit. Ugh. Fuck. Where's the rocket trooper? He's around here somewhere. Dead. Fuck, what? What is going on right now? Ugh. Not in the middle of a fight. Shut up. Cover me. Find some goddamn cover, Ashley. Oh, Jesus Christ, my spy. Do everything myself. Whoa. That, please. Thank you. Yeah, one more time. Okay, you know what? Give me a sec. I need to switch the ammo on this. This thing like, freaking sucks! There we go. Dead. One more. There we go. Alright, follow me. Go, three minutes left on the clock. Yeah. I sniped the sniper. I sniped the sniper. Me, Jimmy. Where? Oh. Hi there! Okay, cool. Uh, uno momento, por favor. Chains! t pose to assert dominance, my dude. That's how it works. That's how it goes. Woo! Two minutes to spare. Nice. Is there stuff over there? 
Hope there's not. If I missed any stuff, I will be pissed. Anything over here? Nope, no secrets. God, the music in this game is so fucking good. Oh no, 10 space bucks. Hey, those 10 space bucks are gonna come in real handy as soon as we unlock the Spectre store. Uh, hurricane, uh, heavy armor, assassin one. Oh, survivor one. Okay, yep. Let's take that. Is this any better? No, it's actually worse, somehow. Because it gives them more. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> Kaden, you look like a banana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this on legendary? I feel like this is a little too easy. I feel like this is way too easy. Hold on. No, this is on this is on insanity. What the fuck? It's banana suit art. Bo I'm a banana. I'm a sexy banana. Get manual override. And okay. Oh god damn it! Ah, there we go. Perfect. Radioactive rounds and combat sensor. Okay, I'll take all of that. Yeah, what's happening, Kilo? How you doing? How you doing, baby? Oh, God damn it. Got it. Ooh, cryo explosive. Oh, I got a new sniper rifle, too. Nice. Let's see if this new sniper rifle is actually worth the damn. Uh, it is! And we have. No. I know, I know for a fact there's something right here. Ah, there it is. Nice. Cryo explosive and stimulant pack. What does stimulant pack do again? Oh, 5% cooldown reduction. Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, that'll be real good for Kaden. Nice. Good. Keep his fucking banana costume. Alright. Prothan Beacon. Activate. Actually, do we have anything else? Real quick. One more sweep of the area. I, re I remember that there was more stuff. I really wish they gave me the Mass Effect Andromeda movement system in this. That would be so much fun. Oh, ah, ah, I knew it. Uh, heavy armor, uh, explorer, and assassin. Okay, good. Knew I was forgetting something. I feel like there's another safe around here. Oh, I guess not. We thought this world was safe. Until the guest showed up. Okay, yeah, I guess that's everything. Yep. Alright, cool. Prothan Beacon, investigate! Go! Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Immediate... Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. 
Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Is everything all right over there? Don't touch it. Actually, don't touch it. Uh, she's gonna touch it. Just rugby tackle. Nobody look at my ass while this is happening. No, don't touch him. Okay. Did anybody look at my ass? Good. Oh, I got a single service medal. Hooray. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. All right, well, that was fun. Doctor, Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Good, I'm awake. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Minor throbbing, nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, those, I think. Those edibles kicked my ass! I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Also, speaking of speaking of which, Ashley, did you stare at my ass? This is very important. And also, don't blame yourself. Yeah, unless you I stared at my ass. I know what would happen. Mm. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. If you stare at his ass, you take full blame. Increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I was dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. May... Oh. Wow, that, that music cut real fucking quick. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Captain Anderson! Is it normal? I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. Sure thing, Arbiter. I mean, Captain Anderson. Hi, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Feel bad about Jenkins, sir. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Also, why is Williams here? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Yeah, good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. All right, but I'm still pissed off about the gaff. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were watching. Oh yeah, Jenkins, he existed. Yeah. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Also, I kind of want to make Jenkins in uh, in XCOM 2 so that he dies. It will be like, oh no, Jenkins. All right, so you wanted to talk, you buddy? Said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Well, we got nothing to hide, baby. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. 
I'll stand behind you and your report, Sever. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. What? He hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh, only a vision. <laughs> oh no, Jenkins! Anyway. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. But what will we say? What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He mm. has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. You're right! I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Understood, Arbor <laughs> Keith David, sir. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Oh, wait, no, is he Keith David or Lawrence Fishburne? I think it's Lawrence Fishburne. Hey, Commander. Hi, Ashley. Bye, Ashley. In case you haven't noticed, Ashley is kind of my least favorite uh, character. She's so boring. Hello. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. He'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Well, you earned it. Either or. You're a good soldier, Will. Yeah, she's a space you racist anyway. Lady. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Well, how are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Well, you helped. I couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Jenkins Thanks. dies as he lived, existing in a society. I have to admit, Joker I was text. a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Well, glad to have you. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Yeah, don't mention it. Dr. Chalk, what's up? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Uh, personal questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the... Well, you should have grew, uh, grew up where I was growing up. <laughs> Wasn't safe or secure then. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Any regrets? No, hold on. Any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Hmm. What can you tell me about Captain Anderson? What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. 
and he cares about the people under his command. Nice. What about Captain Alinko? How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Oh, an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Like what? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Hmm. All right. Well, see you. Go. Goodbye, Commander. I should go. Hello, Caden. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Okay. Well, good talk, Caden. Oh, no codex scans. Shit. All right. Actually, let's go down here real quick. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, yes, elevator simulator. My fa the elevator, the best part of Mass Effect. God, I missed it so much. Normandy's vehicle bay. Using a squad member's locker allows you to assign the, uh, new equipment to item. New equipment may be purchased from the requisitions officer. Got it. Look at all those weapons. Hello, Alliance Requisition Officer. Hey, Commander. Look My favorite part, elevators. Supplies before you head out. What supplies. You Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Pay me? Or Why pay you? I pay you for my weapons and armor. My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Show me. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Oh god, that's a lot. Okay, so... Uh, we'll get the Metagel upgrade and the Grenade upgrade. We'll buy the, we'll buy the licenses later, because I don't have any of that. Looking for supplies? Investigate. Uh, licenses. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of product. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. All right, manufacturers. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of. But each license will explain what it's good for. Okay, new items? How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Alright, right see you later. Now. Thanks. No problem. Keep checking back. Hello, Adams. Ooh, field integrity monitor. Nice. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Yeah. He died as he lived. A tutorial plot point. Alright, well, equipping that is kind of pointless, so I'm just gonna go right here. Doopy 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 scoopy poopy poopy. All right, let's go. Hey, Presley, what's up, buddy? How's it going? I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I activate the star map? No. Oh, only the commanding officer. Oh no. Okay, now I'm getting stuff for the codex. 
Hello, Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Let's see that. Damn, that looks really good. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Thank you, Seth Green. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. <laughs> That was abrupt. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! They're not gonna do don't anything. To make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Well, he's dangerous. Pardon me. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. By Saren. Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Okay. And that's why I hate politicians. Me too. Important things are located on the map. Uh, Mappy Preppy. Boom. Lights nice patrol report. Captain Henderson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol in Argus Rio Cluster. She was particularly concerned about the Hydra system that was uh, relocated before her team could investigate further. No, uh, no patrols are scheduled for the sector. Do you want to send in a recon team? Oh, curious. Very curious. I understand what you're saying. But these allegations. Uh, hello? Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth I, I was just, you know, uh, I was just investigating. Uh, embassy. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. They just lumped you the together? The ambassador is next door, in his own office. 
In oh, I just wanted to say hi. Space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Uh, Volus. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I would like to learn more about the Volus. Culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Okay, tell me your history. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. That sucks. What about your culture? Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Hmm. Alright, uh, Ambassador? What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. That's a Chastising funny. rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Ah, uh, yeah, fat chance. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. And Volus and Eloquor. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. All right, why are you so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Bolus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. Damn, Din, you're getting called out, bro. Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. All right, I should Goodbye, go. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Hello. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. What's wrong? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? He's speaking this facts. All going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Consort? Who's this Asari Consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Now, where is she? Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Good day, Ambassador. God, that is a derpy ass run. <laughs> oh, God, no, not you! Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. Fuck! I'm Kavina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Are you real? So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Sounds interesting. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Yeah, it's Avina. I, I hate her because I keep accidentally selecting her whenever I want to run, and then I just like, fuck! On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, 
where the council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Hmm. All right, CSEC. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Mm -hmm. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Alright, cool. Embassies? Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,300... So Din was lying! ...standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were the Volus first? How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies. They and fucked! And they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Hmm. Just an embassy. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races <gasps> have extensive they responsibilities. They must provide What's happening, Lesser Dragon? ...and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. Hmm. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. <laughs> lesser species? That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Okay, why was humanity opposed? Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an God embassy. God damn it, I don't have a century! A great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. What do you think? Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Oh, God damn it. No, I did be. Ah, oh, God damn it. Uh, no! Stop! To demand such an enormous burden Spectres. Of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre, Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this mm. role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the council itself. Okay. Citadel Council. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? The council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Hmm. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Sounds too perfect. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simulation right. simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit. All to right. The well, got to use the Citadel Transit system, and we got to go Presidium locations. Citadel Tower. You, 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 you. We have a, we have a council meeting to go to. You have arrived at the Citadel Tower. Oh. 
Uh, is this to... Oh, wait, no, that's the other way. Yeah, god damn it. Oh my god, it's the boy! Yes! Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Hi. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who the heck was that? Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Yeah, it seems like you don't like Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Ha! Fat chance. Okay, let's uh Hello, Anderson. Hearing's already started. Come on. Let's go. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. Hi. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. That was you, not me. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect? from a human. Insults? Typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Quit protecting him! Saren's hiding behind his position as a specter. You need to open your eyes. What we need Nighty -night. is evidence. Good night, so Kilo. Far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You won't see the truth. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. It's the same response for any one of these. It's weird. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Oh, look at the Udina. He's so sad. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. To exterminate Everything the entire human race. Is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Well, the Council won't help us. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. 
What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Eh, I can talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. The captain deserves this. Come on, or the captain doesn't deserve this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Shadow an information broker. dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Hmm. So what? What's with the? What's with the council and the ambassador? Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community, but for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Mm -hmm. We're too independent. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests too. Hmm. Harkin? You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. Yeah, that, I the can't believe they got he got fired him. sooner. But I guess enough was enough. Alright, why protect him? The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. Jesus but it Christ! Looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting. Hmm. All right. Shadow broker. Tell me more about the shadow broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the shadow broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Hmm. Barla Vaughn. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. All right, what's the deal with you and Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. He's a monster. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. All right. I should go. go I should go. Me. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay.
Uh, huh? Charban, what are you doing? That guy's up to something. What guy? By the keeper. Yeah. What are you doing? Huh? Charban, answer me. What are you doing? Hmm. Not enough data yet. How about this? Like that for data? How about that? This? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Why does anybody? Okay, fine, whatever. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Firing loud guns in the citadel. Missed that too. Yep. Um, yes. Is there something you want? Following the keepers. Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Relax, buddy. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using teeth are red. to gather readings on the keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. I see. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them. But the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Yeah, let me help. help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. Well, I'm with the Alliance. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Why are you doing this again? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Got it. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Oh. Scanning. Nice. I leveled up. I leveled up from sticking a scanner up a keeper's butt. Here it comes. Nope, that's not what I, I can throw a grenade. Yeah, H's holster. Jesus. Yeah, I'm just allowed to just throw grenades anywhere. Rianimal Kohaku. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the commander. Commander. Oh, there's another keeper. Nice. Also, let's take a look at that. Squad map. Okay, so we're gonna... Uh, hmm. Advanced shield boost. Uh, you know what? I'll get shield boost. Also leveled up electronics. Okay, so for Caden. Uh, shock, yeah, okay. This will do. First aid. Actually, no, undo the talent points. Uh, hmm. that uh, and then we'll add two points to barrier okay and then Williams uh, we'll do that perfect no oh yes grenade blasting the trees yeah all perfect perfect uh, protocol for whenever you're the in in the assembly uh, okay let's go to the presidium real quick Go to the embassies. Hmm. Actually, first things first, we'll just... Uh, oh, no, we, we won't go to Presidium, so let's go to the wards. Uh, Kalora's Den.
I actually want to try Bar of On. It's near the... Where did he... Uh, where was Bar of On again? Also, this is taking a lot of loading. Oh, Gentlemen's Club in the Wards. Uh, see in the keepings, unusual readings. Bar Levon. Bank Financial District in Presidium. Oh, Presidium. Ah, I see. Okay. Let's go to the Presidium. Embassies. Wait, did he, uh, was it Citadel Tower? God damn it, hold on. Financial District of the Presidium. Uh, where's the Financial District? T-Sec Academy. Hello. Good day, Commander. The Human Ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Commander. Do you know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Hmm. Okay. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. Okay, thank I you. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Have a wonderful day. Oh, there's the financial district. That's like the fourth taxi ride in, uh, ride in two minutes. Yeah, exactly. Barla Vaughn. Nope. Putting putting the gun away. Don't want to get super violent. Real quick. Hmm. That's probably where Barla Vaughn is. Oh, keeper. Nice. The fight. No, oh, yep. Hello, Emporium Shopkeeper. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent Emporium. Uh, personal Who question. Are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Delan? Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Your speech. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar yeah, it's a Hanar. themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Okay, what goods what do you exactly have? do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire. For a price, naturally. Let's see what you have. I'd like to see these rare and wonderful items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Uh, you upgrades. <laughs> Just, yep, yeah, mind linking right there. Shield regenerator. Ooh, stimulant pack. Uh, weapon stab. No, weapon stability. Nice. We'll go with the. That. Uh, all right. No, no, hold on. Nope. Just want to. Somebody uploaded the zip files for Adastro and Moshis. Nice. Do you care to see some of its fantastic items today? I think I'll be going. Return soon. Okay. This one receives new shipments regularly. Nope. Hi, you must be Barlavon. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. Have we met? You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me. To play for yourself? Oh no. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, 
I take notice. Well, I need your help. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Sarah? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Uh, can we make a deal? I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. Uh, thank you? What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Serves him right. That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Uh, anything else? That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with Csec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. All right, Thanks let's go. Info. My pleasure, Commander. Hmm. Charmed. Okay, where is Csec Academy? Is it all ramp uh, up towards? Let's go. Aboard, you're not allowed in here. What? This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. One moment. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure. Wait, did he talk about spreading? Please do not disturb the keepers. Fuck you. I'll touch how many keepers I want. You can't tell me what to do. All right, what's going on here? That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Be more open-minded. You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If Evangelical permit? So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Alright, arrest it? Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become... vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. All right, reason for permit? What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register oh, this is weird. a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. All right, let me talk to it. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Hello. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Hmm. Having trouble? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Hmm. Uh, purchase a permit? If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Hmm. It's legality of preaching? So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? 
The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Okay. Well, either way, this isn't the way, buddy. Is this really how you want to represent the enkindlers? The truth of the enkindlers must be made known. They gave the hen our language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Hmm. Ooh. All right. I'll be back. I need to be this back one for this. Will continue to spread its message. All right. Sorry. Oh, I'll be back later. Don't you worry. Once I get my paragon, boom. I'm gonna I'm gonna sweet talk this baby. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment Oh press Oh. I thought I could skip the elevator, but uh, oh well. I can never skip. Oh, what a foolish! I could never skip the elevator. Uh, let's see. More access corridor. Okay. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. Oh, who is this fist? Oh, hello. Boop. Nice. You fool! Elevator is internal. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers... Lotus Green is temporary. Them, elevator is eternal. ...representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. We tickle, we tickle the probe just a little bit. Just a tiny little tickle. Hmm. All right, that's where the med clinic is. To low rewards, to lower markets, to lower rapid transit, to flux. Yeah, great. Where did uh, where did he say that? Oh yeah, the Krogan was in uh, CSEC, was he not? Yep, Citadel Rex. Rex, the Crooked Bounty Hunter, is being questioned at CSEC Kennedy Academy. You can meet him there if you want to speak with him. Cookies! Ah, cookies! cookies! Hmm, CSEC Academy. Oh, we could probably talk to Garrus first. Hello! Lots of cookies here. Actually, I think we can. Uh... Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk with Rex first. So I'm going down. Hello, Moshe. How's it going? We finished the gay shit furry porn. Nice. Good job. I'm proud of you, buddy. Uh, all right, C Sec Academy. Let's go. Because you're trying to get away, get away, get away. Out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group I think we'll get an Ankin sex point until part five. When the study Whoa. produced no viable results. Welcome to CSEC. Hello, it's me, CSEC. Hi. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. Programs. Him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Huh? <laughs> Crow gains. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yes, human. Uh. You can, you can help me. I'm trying to bring down Saren. 
Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. How so? Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. Uh, let me guess. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. Rex will win every he fight. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Sarah. All right, that's a big mistake. He's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. No, we might be Saren too late. Already have her. Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist. She's all yours. And what about the Shadow Broker? I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. We could use him. Might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. All right, see you later. Move out. All right, Erd not sex, and kitten. Okay, except squad. Nice, good, good meme, great meme. Uh, to do squad. Okay, so. Oh, he's also a assault rifle guy. Okay, so we're gonna. Barrier warp. Okay, we'll put that into put shield boost. And let us be in the warp master. And also have assault rifles. Caden a flanko. Caden Boroshenko. Wait, what? Stop. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? Overheard you. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. All right, sleep, little Moshe. Kill you? How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home. Just try out the free point for yourself. Chance. Maybe. Maybe. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Well, how can I help? Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? <laughs> Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Yeah, I know. Shorban. That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. Yeah. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Good point. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. All right, let's go. Oh, this is the... I have entered the wrong place. This is the wrong room. It's over here, I believe? Yeah, that's where the medical board is. I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you'd stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. 
killing the former is a favor to the universe. Oh, so everybody seems to have a... Oh, okay. It's the right... Up to upper wards. Uh, okay. Oh, keeper. Hello, Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yes. I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Uh, nope. I'm good. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yep. Catch you later. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you soon. Yes, hello. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Uh, of course. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How are the investigations are linked? How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. All right. This this is Yekshep, friend of journalist. Consider it done. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. All right. Where's the medical clinic? Keeper, exercising, exercising restraint of not punching the local reporter. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hello, Werner. Wow, you're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I I just tried to help. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Yeah, no problem, buddy. Anything for a fan? Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Th thanks again. No problem, Conrad. What a... What an interesting character. Hopefully we don't see any uh, anything more of him. Oh. Chorbon! Buddy! How's it going? Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? The truth! You can start by telling me the truth, Chorbon. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Your friend, Jalid, told us about you. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're gonna tell me everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. Go on. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? So? What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. And Jalid? Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. What? So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole. We lost our heads. 
just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? No more. I'm not breaking regulations for you or your research. Return what you stole, or I'll have you arrested. No! All right. You don't need to ask twice. Well then, no more scanning. I promise. Of course, Jalid still has the initial data, and I doubt he's planning to return it. Don't worry. I'll deal with Jalid. So long, Commander. Yeah, no more naughty stuff. I am good guy, Shepard. Oh. Do you go up here, I think? Oh, wait, no. that We don't need to go there yet. Can I already choose some of my rewards? Oh, med clinic. There it is. Perfect. No, oh, can't scan keepers anymore. Oh well. I didn't tell anyone. I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut, or Hi. Who are you? Let her go. My name is Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite. Oh well, he's dead. Enemy contact. Get up. There we go. Nice. I think we got him, Commander. Yeah, we did. Good job, everybody. Hi, right, Garros. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Yeah, it was a big risk. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. We can protect you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Alright, we need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Well, why do you hate Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Okay, you made your case. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Alright, so... Bup, bup. Actually... Eh. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's do this. Fire Metagel. Okay, let's go to. I think we need. Yeah, we need to go to. We need to go to Kora's Den. Kalora's Den. Kaloru's Den. Yep, yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. It's over here. Any trouble? Enemies everywhere? No, yep, enemies everywhere. I'm on it. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, let me let me level up. I forgot I need to level him up real quick. Uh hmm. Alright, we'll level you up in decryption. Tactical armor. And assault vehicles. There you are. Or not sex. Yeah, you're good. Chlorine den. Yep. Enemies everywhere. Oh, hello. Uh, all right. 
right. Well, I was not... They definitely changed up the weapons a little bit. Guys! Thank you. Dead. I can't hit fire anymore. That's weird. Can't hit fire with my freaking. I'll destroy you! Uh, let me switch to my pistol real quick. Oh boy, that's a big boy. Yeah, he's invincible. Oh, Krogans are so annoying to deal with. I'm on it. I'm on it. Dead. Target this guy. Eh. Oh, did we kill him? Okay, cool. Take out those hostiles. Take out those hostiles. Enemies everywhere. Uh. Let's go with sabotage. And let's give him a war. Nice. Boop boop boop. Um, dead. Oh, hi. I. Are you sure this is gameplay insanity? Because this feels a little too easy. Yep, it's on insanity. Okay. Enemies everywhere. Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Yeah. Stay back or we'll shoot. Save yourselves! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. So waiting on that random difficulty Boy, spike. Yeah. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Hmm. Hmm. Weapini locker. All right, there we go. Ooh, hello. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Uh, take the Banshee. And for Rex. Just take the Banshee one. Take the Scimitar one. Uh, see, for me, I get the... Uh, yep. Hammer two, please. Thank you. Uh, Garrus, yeah, no. Oh yeah, that's right. Stimulant pack. Uh, I shall take stimulant pack two because that is very useful. All my cooldowns are now lowered. Why do I have to do everything myself? Time to die. Time to die. Whoa. Powering up. Go, go, go! Boom. No. Oh, Wait, <laughs> okay. Don't kill me, I surrender. Smart move. Where's the Corian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Mm -hmm. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, It'll be Saren's men waiting for her. 
We have to save her. Give me the location. Now. You're on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Oh, shit. What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. He surrendered. Or don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That quarian's dead if we don't go now. Well, shit. And to personnel rounds. Okay, take all. That. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, let's give you anti personnel rounds. Let's give you. Uh, ooh, hammerhead. Uh, we'll go with basic rounds. Here we're gonna go with hammerhead, hammerhead rounds. And then for my pistole, we'll do armor piercing rounds too. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Hi. He's everywhere. Yeah, I'm sure you will, honey. Dead. Hi. Oh, hold on. There we go. Perfect. Let's go. I will destroy you, some dead guy. Yeah, pretty much. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh boy. Uh -oh. Yep, dope, oh, okay. Well, that just happened. And we just dropped him like a bad habit. I knew I couldn't trust him. Are you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? I am a friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Alright, let's go. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? She can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Hmm. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Something of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Alright, well, continue. Tell us what you found. 
During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. Huh. I thought they fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Oh, is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. We, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers? What are- what can you tell me about the Reapers? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The Reapers! Ah, she's right, though. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Well, they need to know! The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. But what about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Well, you could be useful. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay. Tally and Garrus. Thank you. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. All right, squad, squad. Hmm. Unlock fitness. Unlock sniper rifles. Oh, let's level up decryption. Nice. Garas Vakarian. Uh. Sniper rifles unlocked. Tally Zora Varaya. Okay, let's go with. Go with advanced sabotage, basic armor, and pistols. Also go with, uh, you know, let's unlock hacking. Perfect. That'll be very, uh, useful later. Uh, we shall go with, you know what, yep, yeah, let's get heat sink on that and combat sensor on this. Perfect. Okay. Let's go down. 
real quick. Actually, what's my what's my character looking like? I'm I'm going Paragon. Nice. Oh, hi, Shemesh. Could you spare a moment of your time? Sure. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. No, I'm happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Oh, put this right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Okay. Do, 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 boop, 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 boop. Expensive butt bar. Alright, let's just uh, go. Hello. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Cl Who you names themselves Clerk? The diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here for Smash. Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batia no doubt told you. Expensive booty butt bar. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. What, is she toxic? You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Batia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Hmm. Like the research? How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. Oh. Number of bodies? You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander... We need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. Results of research. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Hmm. Well, thanks for the information. I'll tell Mr. Bacci about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other questions. For the greater good. Boop, boop. Oh, God damn it. Uh... Hello, Samesh. Got some bad news. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Hmm. Your wife. Tell me again what you'd been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. Hmm. Well, there's a problem. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. But this... This is important! Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She did it willingly. She died a hero, Mr. Bacha. And now she has a chance to save even more lives. Not the wife! Yo, Roxer, what's up, buddy? It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Yeah, it sucks. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Thank you for finding me answers. No problem, Smash. Do, 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 do. Oh, can we talk to that, uh, Hanar guy now? I hope we can. We're just playing some Mass Effect. Everyone's fa- uh, I, I got- I acquired the Legendary Edition, so we're playing with all new graphics, all new content. Well, not new content, but all the DLC is downloaded. Oh, 
Hello. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? What? I need an appointment? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, we need to talk to this consort because of a diplomatic part. Services. Diplomatic snafu. Leave your name. She'll make every effort to meet with you. All right, Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. Are, are you serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Uh, personal question. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Contented? What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Sounds interesting. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, mm, three or four months. Are you serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Okay. Is there anything else? Dead. I think Jesus. I'm done here. Oh well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Oh? Yes, of course, mistress. Ooh. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like Nobody's to Nobody's worth that much, boy. Uh, sure. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. That's, uh, hmm. That's a bit, uh, sus. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Cool. Except maybe Half-Life 3. That's a, that's a nice bubble you that's have there. close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. Who the fuck are you? What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Well, tell me about it. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Yeah, what went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Okay! Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Cool. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Uh, all right. Well, that was weird. Hmm. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure with the recent outbreak. I went very often when it was still the Arcos. Yeah. The Arcos. This is a group I don't go in. It seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like... Uh, Calor- oh, wait, I just- Jesus Christ, Calorum's Den. God damn it. Calorum! I knew she couldn't be trusted. Uh, I'll check the Emporium Shopkeeper when I have some more. Many. Oh. Can we talk to that- can we talk to that Hanar guy now? Surely he'll listen to reason. Guys, you guys having fun over here? Progress with that Hanar. 
Well, let the Hanar talk. I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. All right, fine. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that hand art. All right. Do you desire to learn of the This isn't the way. Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? This is not the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the... This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. This is unworthy of you. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. They wouldn't want this. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Okay. Oh. Celebratory gunfire. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. No problem. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Cool. Hmm, Omnigel, not bad. Also, let's go down to uh, CSEC real quick so we can just talk to Jalilulu. Jalilulu. Then we'll go to Presidium. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. That's After nice. finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. Oh, she was a cook? For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Since when did the Alliance Military get ad space? Also, equipment real quick. Uh... Uh, okay. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. The wards. All right, go down here. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. Oh, Jesus. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Huh. I actually kind of want to watch that. No. Hello, Emily Wong. Right on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Uh, would these help? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Yeah, I can offer more. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Yeah! Well, I got some money! Alright, going to see Sec Academy real quick. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel Security to pursue Saren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. 
I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. Okay, settle down, settle down, you two. Uh, ah, there we are. Hello, we gotta talk. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I'm afraid I so. I out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? Hamlet in space. I for any of this to happen. Macbeth in space! I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm turning you in. I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? You should have thought of that sooner. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Go on. Tell me more about this data. Tell me more about well, this. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. Well, do too bad. I can't let your actions go unpunished. No, please. I'll do anything. I've got credits. Let me go and you can have them. All of them. What's going on over here? Is this Volus causing you some trouble, Commander? Definitely. He's admitted to stealing data from his workplace. Really? I think you'd better come with me. But, uh... I'll take it from here, Commander. Thanks for your help. But the data! You don't know what you've done! All right. Save it for your lawyer. Yeah! Didn't get any Paragon stuff, though. Big sad. Hmm. You're under arrest. Anything you can or say will be used and shoved up your ass. Yep, still can just wield around guns. Okay, let's uh, go to Presidium Locations. Oh wait, no, I need to go to... Oh, before we do that, <laughs> I need to go to Chlora's Den. Glorum's Den. You've arrived at Kalora's Den. Well, hopefully the place isn't as, you know, completely destroyed. Anything you say can uh anything you say can and will be put in a perfectly cut scream compilation. Huh. always turned to blind eye. are highly respected among my people, but I get the feeling these women are not held in high esteem. No, probably not. Hold on. There we are. Just relax. Can't believe that's a command. Sit forward. Relax. Sit forward. And then relax. And we'll leave. Excellent. Flawless. 100%. Oh, hey, it's Harkin. What's up, Harkin? Go away. Okay. Not now. Watch the show. Commander. What do you want? Problems? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Well, she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. Alright, I understand, I buddy. I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. 
Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Straighten up, soldier! General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let him come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Glad to hear There's no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Maybe. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there. Believe Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because you told him. Because I told him. Yeah. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. How? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Alright, where to? Where am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. I know where he He's is. Over in the embassy, is complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. I'm, I'm part of the Navy. That's a completely different. Okay, you know what? Fine, whatever. I got business here, but not with you. I got squizness. Also, uh... Oh, I should have... Ah, fuck, I should have said to find. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. No, yeah, not you. The far end of this lake, Goodbye. They ah. a lake on a space station. I can't even imagine the resources needed to maintain it. Alright. Oh, this is the wrong room. What do you want? Hi. Oh, Commander. Hello, Fredericks. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, consort? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, that is, she helps people with things. Uh-huh. You never went to see her, did you? I, uh, no. This is verbiage down. The worst show on TV. Couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. All right, I understand. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the. I already, I already know this. Why am I, why am I asking you? Oh, hello, Executor Palin. How's it going? Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Uh, new? No. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? No. Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? Uh, investigation? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. All right, fine. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll just be taking this. Diplomatic advisory warning. The uh, following message was transmitted from an untraceable account multiple recipients across the external net. Further monitoring the situation warranted. My fellow biotic, you've been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come join us in the Hawking Era Cluster. Only one body can, uh, only as one body we can right the wrongs done to our kind. 
Oh, that sounds fun. Lots and lots of fun. Uh, I gotta... Over here. Talk to that Elicor. Hello. Sultan. Greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I can help you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. There should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Ah, you'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Yeah, probably. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, we're going to profit, all right. Oh, we're so going to profit. You know what? I'm too lazy to travel. Oh, God, no. Stop it. Boop. Sitting locations. Consort chambers. I'm too lazy to walk a bridge, so we're just gonna load right here. Alright. <laughs> awesome. What a fast travel. Hello, we are here. Hello. How are you? Totally not worried, I see. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Uh, of course. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Fast traveling across a 10 I second bridge. It's not a 10 second bridge. It's about like about a minute. Any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. All right, thank you. you very astute. Quite a gift, Chira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Oh, thank you. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Okay. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Yeah, they will. All right, and we have done just about everything. Mm-hmm. So, that's everything in, uh the citadel for now let us go to citadel tower 
shitty dead tower. All right, and we're here. Let's go. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Hell yeah. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is it. irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Matriarch Benezia? Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted. What can you tell me about the Reaper? Memory. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth revere them as some sort of big booty god. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Not yet. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Reapers are real. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. But I've seen them! 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Well, send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It's your best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. All right. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Oh god, that, uh, that music is so freaking good. Thank you! I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. 
He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'm ready. I'll find him. This meeting of the council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. All right. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. I don't blame him. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. And we got Spectre training. And we leveled up. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to put all my levels into Charm. And wait, what? One level into Intimidate. Okay. Spectre training. I'm going to... I'm just going to do that until I just get Unity... Just a, just base unity is fine enough. Uh, Geras. Getting base assassination. Uh, advanced sabotage and dampening. As well as terrain agent. Tally, you're going to get hacking. Uh, do unlock first aid. Thank you. Need to go to CSAC and then unlock the Spectre store. Alright, uh, presidium locations. No, that's in. No, it's wards. That's right. Ward locations. CSEC. We better go check in the CSEC. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny joke. Funny joke. All right, going over here. Hello, yes, I am part of Spectre Store. How may I help you? One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? He sure How is. You know all that. I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Yes, I need supplies. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Ah, no problem. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Hmm. Uh, nice. Okay, I do not have enough. Oh, I definitely do not have enough for any of this. Okay, cool. Awesome, thank you. Now that we got that squared away, I got a, I got a license. <laughs> hmm. All right. The Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Wait. This elevator music is... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, In other news, that, the elevator, the elevator music, uh, that's, that's new music. That's a uh, that's the that's the main song for Mass Effect 2. Suicide mission. Many officials refused to comment. That I took the wrong freaking elevator. All right, there we go. Over here. This is the right elevator. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Nice. Good good for Emily Wong. Yeah, well, what's going on over here? 
I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I will. Take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. Why are you doing this? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What? You should have told me! Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. You can count on me, Captain Anderson. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Well, is that it? Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. Mm. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. Yeah. We have reports she was it's Liara. a geological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Well, I'll start with Pharos. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll be careful. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. Yeah, yeah. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. All right. Yes, Commander. Are you okay, buddy? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. So you and Saren had a past. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Goyle? Like Udina. She wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. But you lied to me. I trusted you. You betrayed me. It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. Well, what happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. Something went wrong. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. <laughs> was anyone hurt? How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. You got blamed? Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. 
He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Well, it wasn't your fault, buddy. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. That's not fair! Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Alright, well, forget about the past. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living with her. So you worked with Spec. I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were we on. We had together. intel on a rope. Oh, wait, shit. Uh, I heard You're right, Commander. It's no good living with her. Tell me about Pharos. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Okay, Artemis Tau what Cluster. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colony. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. All right, Novaria. What can you tell me about Novaria? What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back, Fashion. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. All right, I fun. should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. All right. Back on the Normandy. What would happen to Captain Anderson? Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just yeah. watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission. You're next on their chopping block. I'm ready. Saren's out there somewhere. And we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Alright. I need to be honest with them. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Eden Prime was just the start. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Nobody is, uh, nobody's gonna help us. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Saren will be ready for us. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. We must not fail. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. I won't let him down. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Weird. All right. Well, with that, uh, I think we're going to. We made made quite a bit of progress. We. We busted, uh, we busted Saradin, helped a uh, bunch of people in the Citadel, and now we're gonna, we're gonna go after him. Uh, but we'll be doing that on the next episode. There we go. Boom. So, oh man, that's so great playing Mass Effect again, especially with all of this new stuff. Next, <laughs> next time on Mass Effect. Next time we're going to punched someone in the ass until next time <laughs> yeah also rotate your saves folks anyway
My name is Yak10. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next stream. Bye bye, everybody.